From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Tuesday, May 27, 2014. In the news, U.S. Senator Lisa Murkowski has introduced legislation that would allow for drilling in Anwar. The Alaska Republican recently introduced two bills, one to allow for oil and gas drilling on the coastal plain of the refuge, the other for directional drilling from outside the refuge to tap oil and gas. Similar legislation has been introduced in the House by U.S. Representative Don Young. All three members of the state's congressional delegation have pushed to allow drilling at the refuge. A family of four escaped from their burning house in the early morning hours Sunday. The North Star Volunteer Fire Department responded to the call on North Goldenrod Circle off Peridot Road. The first units to arrive saw heavy flames coming from the roof. Firefighters aggressively attacked the blaze, but there was extensive damage to the home. No injuries were reported. Battalion Chief Justin Bodie says the cause of the fire is still under investigation. And Saturday, state troopers received a report that a man with a gun was standing beside the Sterling Highway near Cooper Landing. As the responding officer arrived, the man reportedly shot at him with a pistol. The trooper returned fire with his handgun. No one was hurt, and the suspect was ultimately taken into custody. He was identified as 30-year-old Timothy J. Lang of Anchorage. Lang was jailed on multiple charges, including attempted first-degree murder. A quick look at the Fairbanks weather to finish up. Today, increasing clouds, areas of smoke, highs in the mid to upper 60s. Tonight, cloudy with areas of smoke and lows in the lower to mid 40s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, areas of smoke again, and highs in the mid to upper 60s. The extended forecast is mostly cloudy on into the weekend, maybe a little more sun on Thursday. Highs starting to get into the 70s for a while and then back to the 60s Sunday through Monday. The allergy forecast is still high for trees, but low for grass, weeds, and mold. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. The rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6 with the Fairbanks Evening News. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching.